I'm here today to visit the Royal Cornwall Museum in Truro. Now this was set up in 1818, that was a long, long time ago. It was founded to promote knowledge of natural history, ethnology, the fine and industrial arts, especially in relation to Cornwall. And this was at a time when there was lots of money available in the mining industry. But to put it into even more context, this museum was created before the Smithsonian Institute and even the, the Geological Museum in London were actually even in existence, which makes it kind of special. The museum houses the Rashley Gallery and Collection, a world famous assemblage of minerals named after Philip Rashley. Born in London in 1729, the son of a member of parliament, but more importantly, the son of a Cornish landowner. Rashley began studying and cataloguing Cornish minerals in his early 30s. And 30 years on, he'd amassed a collection with the help of the local mining community of over 4,000 minerals. Now this is his original late 1700s catalogue book. I just want to read you the first line because it's really quite telling. It says here, the specimens are entered in this catalogue as they are brought into the cabinet, frequently under the names given by the miners themselves. Now that tells you exactly the link between not only the mineral collection, but Rashley and the mining community. What's really fascinating is these are the exact samples that were collected in the late 1700s. This one here, blues and greens, lots of copper minerals, there's lots of those in the collection. There's a special one that caught my eye, and that's this beautiful crystal of cassiterite, quite rare, that's a tin crystal. Number 38, and we've actually got the, the entry written by Rashley's hand of this exact sample. It says, very black shining tin crystals upon topazes. Trevornance, that's the location in Cornwall. And then it's got afterwards, R, 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 R. Now that's Rashley's own annotation, but very rare. Beautiful crystal. <laughs> Fantastic. Rashley was keen to create images of his mineral collection to share with others, and was, to quote him, searching for a good, clever man to draw and colour some of my minerals. He engaged a number of local artists to create watercolours of the samples for a series of books, but noticed that the drawings never quite did justice to the minerals. He wrote to a colleague, there is great difficulty in representing minerals on paper. Using modern technology, we have taken the same museum samples, digitised and recreated them in 3D as virtual hand specimens. And some of them you can also view down the virtual microscope. You can look at these samples online, zoom in and rotate them. We'd like to think this is exactly what Rashley would have done with his whole collection if he had our modern technology over two centuries ago.